Hello, my name is David Procession from Do Yoga With Me. This is the second in a two-part series on yoga for back pain for beginners. In this class, it gets a little bit harder. We're doing some core exercises that involve a little more strength. You need the same props as the first class, a strap, a rope, belt, tie, and a hand towel that you can roll up. Just like the first class, you need to be really careful and cautious with your lower back. You're creating stability, flexibility, strength only. No pain during this class. Enjoy the class. We'll start lying on our backs. You want to make sure that you have a strap or whatever you have for the strap close by or within reach. And you want this towel to be rolled up. And when it's rolled up, you want it to be about an inch or an inch and a half thick when it's rolled up nice and tight. And this will go onto your lower back when you're lying on your back. So if you need a moment to do that, just pause the video. When you lie on your back, slip it under your lower back so that it's sort of in the middle of that lumbar curve and then rest your feet on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna work on strength and flexibility. We're going to strengthen those key muscles that are really important for lower back stability and stretch the muscles that are important to relieve the tension and the pain. So we're going to start by pressing the lower back into the towel, so the, those muscles on either side of the belly button press down. Take a breath in. With the feet flat on the floor, you're going to exhale and slide that right foot away from you. Maybe the heel touches the ground, maybe it doesn't until the leg is straight or as straight as you can get it. And then inhale and bring the foot in. Okay, keep going. So if you did the previous video, this is the same exercise that we started with in that video. Exhale. Inhale, left leg, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Make sure the pressure of the lower back on the towel stays there the whole time. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, that's the last one with the left leg. Now straighten both legs out on the ground. Interlink your fingers, press the palms to the ceiling. Now press the thigh bones down, push through the backs of the heels, flex all of your toes back, and now press the lower back into the towel. Can you, can you contact the towel? Can you press it down with pressure? And now drop the arms back. Reach through the palms, try to touch the floor with the pinky fingers, and keep pressing the lower back down into the towel. If the lower back lifts off the towel, then you need to lift your hands or you need to slightly bend your knees. One more breath here. Okay, and the hands come forward, rest along your sides. The feet come flat. Now press the lower back into the towel. Keep the pressure there. And now float one knee and then the other above your hips. Lift the feet to knee level. Flex the toes back. So you got a right angle at the hips, right angle at the knees. Take a breath in, press the shoulders back, press the belly down so the lower back presses into the towel. Exhale, right leg straightens away. And then lower the foot as low as you can without letting the lower back lift. Inhale, bring it in. Left leg, exhale. Inhale. Keep going. So the focus is on lower back remaining stable. And your sensory feedback is the contact of the lower back on the towel. So keep it there. Don't let it lift. Don't let it go. Keep going with the breath. Exhale, straightening the leg. Inhale, bringing it in. Okay. 
Okay, everybody finishes with the left leg. Good, flatten the feet down. Stretch your legs out. Interlink your fingers the second way, so now the other index finger is closer to you. Press the palms up, rest the shoulders down. Push through the heels and flex your toes back. Anchor the lower back down. Drop the arms back as you lengthen through both the legs and the arms. And don't let the lower back lift off the towel. Stay here for two more deep, long breaths. Okay, this time when the hands come forward, your right knee floats up by itself. Hug the knee into the chest. Press your left thigh bone down. Lengthen through the left heel. Stretch your right leg out. Hug the left knee in. Press your right thigh bone down. Hug the left leg in as you lengthen through the back of your right leg. Okay, bring the right knee in. Hug the knees into the chest. You might find the, the towel kind of blocks your lower back there. Rest your arms along your sides. Now we're taking it into a, a little bit more of a challenging core exercise. So if this one is too challenging, you'll be up here like this with both legs up. If it's too challenging, lower one of the feet to the ground, okay? So straighten your legs up. We'll start with the right leg. Take a breath in. Remember pressing the lower back into the towel. Exhale, lower the right leg away. As low as you can without letting the lower back lift. Inhale, lift. Right leg again, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, lift. If your lower back is getting sore or tired, please lower the left foot. Inhale. Now left leg. Exhale. Try to lengthen through the heels of both legs. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale, inhale, bend the knees, place the feet flat, right up into bridge, breathe in first. Remember, we're not straining the back, we're strengthening it. Press the hips up, so if you feel any straining, you want to back off. Press the thighs up, lift the heart, press the belly down. Don't let the lower back arch up. Two more breaths. Lower down. Grab your strap. Loop it around the bottoms of both of your feet. And then straighten your legs up. So it helps to loop the strap around your hands. Ideally, you want the arms and the legs to be straight at the same time while feeling the stretch. So start by Slightly bending your knees and pressing your tailbone into the ground, lifting the lower back off of or away from, not off of, but away from the towel, just so that you're not pressing down with so much pressure. Press the shoulders back and now try to straighten out your legs. Press the thigh bones away, flex the toes back. Keeping the lower back lifting, pull the feet towards you. So it's like the belly's lifting to the toes, toes are flexing back towards the belly. 
Now let's slip the right foot out, but keep it where it is. Slip it out of the strap. Keep it where it is. Keep pushing up through heels of both feet. And now keeping the right leg long, reach it away from you. Keep lowering it towards the floor until the heel rests on the ground. If that's too much, you can slide the foot in with the foot flat on the floor and bend the knee. But if it isn't, press through the heel, press the thigh bone down, keep lengthening through the back of both of your legs, flexing the toes back on both of your feet. And let's stay here for three deep, slow breaths, focusing on letting the muscle in the back of your left leg relax, even as you're lengthening the leg straight. Now take both straps in your right hand, release the left arm out to the side so it's resting on the ground. Now turn the left leg in so the toes are pointing more to the right, heel is shifting to the left. Flex the toes back, pull the foot towards you, and now guide the leg across the body, but keep pressing your right thigh down just a little bit. Guide it across, keep the hip on the floor, the left hip stays down, Right thigh bone presses down, pull it across, shift the heel to the left, flex the toes back, especially the pinky toe, and pull the foot up towards your right shoulder. Two more breaths here. Keep lengthening through the knee, through the heel, pushing through the right heel, just like you're standing on the ground on that foot. Bring the leg back to the starting point. Grab the straps with your left hand. Float the right knee up, grab it with your right hand. Now pull the right knee out to the right, pull it out and up to the shoulder, and then let the left leg fall out to the left. Keep pressing through the heel so the leg straightens as you lower it. Now you should feel equal weight on the sides of your pelvis. Pull the right knee out and up. Lengthen the left leg, flex the toes back and pull the foot up towards your left shoulder. Stay here for three breaths. See if you can hold this position so that the legs aren't stiff. You want the left leg to be lengthening but not stiffening and tightening. Okay, next breath in, left leg floats up first, then the right knee. Place the foot flat on the floor. Bend your left knee and then drop the foot, pull it to the right and drop it on top of your right thigh. Place the strap on the ground. Now you have two options. You can either press your left knee away from you. You'll feel a hip stretch, flex the left toes back. Or you want a deeper stretch, you can grab the right leg, the right shin, pull it towards you. Again, flexing the left toes so you're protecting the ankle and the knee. Let's stay here for three breaths. Turn the right foot to the floor, then the left. Grab your strap. Loop the strap again around both feet. Straighten your legs up. It helps to loop the strap around your hands. Straighten both legs, push through the heels, flex the toes, and then lift your lower back. Press the shoulders back. Lift your heart, lengthen through the back of the neck. Pull the foot, feet towards you, keeping your lower back lifted off the floor. Let's stay here for one more breath. This pose alone could be so good for the lower back.
Now slip the left foot out, push through both heels, flex the toes of both feet back. As you keep the leg long, reach it away from you, that left leg, until the left heel rests on the floor. Again, if it, this is too much for you, slide the left foot in, place the foot flat. If it isn't, push through the heel, press the thigh bone down, flex the toes back, pull the right foot towards you. Try to anchor that left thigh bone down. Three breaths here. Lengthening the back of both of your legs and releasing the back of your right leg. Take both straps in your left hand, release the right arm out to the side. Shift the toes to the left, heel to the right, flex the toes back, and then keeping the right hip on the floor, guide the leg across the body. Hip stays down, left thigh bone presses down, and you're pushing through that left foot just like you're still standing on it, like the foot is pushing into the floor. Flex the toes back, lengthen through the heel. Two more breaths here. Okay, bring the leg to the starting point. Grab both straps with your right hand. Feel free to loop them around your hand if you want. Bring the left knee in, pull the left knee out to the side with your left hand. Let the right leg fall out to the right. Again, flexing the toes back, pulling left knee to left shoulder, lengthening out the right leg and then pulling the foot to your right shoulder. Try to keep the weight equal on the sides of the pelvis. Stay here for three breaths. Remember, trying to remove stiffness from the pose. You want to keep lengthening the right leg, but you don't want to tense it. Next time you breathe in, the right leg comes in. So does the left. Place the foot flat, bend the knee, lower the foot to the left until the ankle rests on top of the left thigh. Place the strap on the ground. So the options again are to press the knee away from you or hug the left leg in. Flex the toes of the right foot. Stay for three breaths. Lower the left foot, lower the right foot. <clears throat> Spread your arms out and just move the knees from side to side, just like windshield wipers. You can lower the knees as far down as they go to either side, giving your hips little twists. And then the next time your knees fall to the left, keep rolling. Press yourself up onto your hands and knees and let's come right into a lunge. Stepping your right foot forward and placing your hands on your thigh. Now the most important thing is that you're again stabilizing your lower back. And so you want to focus on a few things here. First, just like before, the belly presses in. It's like you're still pressing the lower back into that towel. Secondly, the left glute pushes the hip forward. And when you have the glute on, you'll actually feel like your sitting bone is tucking down and that's what you want. And you'll get a stronger stretch in the front of your thigh. So do those two things. Belly presses in, glute presses forward, and now lift up through the top of the head. And then if you feel like you want to go a little bit deeper into it, you can let the hips shift forward into the stretch. Remember belly in, 
left glute forward, lifting up through the top of the head. This is your hip flexor stretch. Stay here for two more breaths. Okay, now raise just your left arm. Reach up through the fingertips. Take a breath in and lift up a little bit higher. We're adding a little side bend here. Just make sure your lower back is okay. Press the belly in, side bend to your right. One breath. And then inhale up and place both hands down inside your front foot. If you want, you can move the front foot forward just by gripping the floor with the toes. And then now let the hips and the chest sink. Bend your elbows to let the chest and the head drop. And just sink into a fairly easy position so you're not creating any tension, you're not fighting the stretch, you're allowing yourself to release into it. Two more breaths here. Okay, so start by straightening your arms. If they aren't, walk the hands back. And then bring your right knee back and step your left foot forward. So same lunge. The hands or the forearms can go on the front thigh. Remember, belly in, right glute forward now. Lift up through the top of the head and allow yourself to find that stretch in the front of the right thigh. Two more breaths here. It's a great stretch for the lower back. Okay, now the right arm goes up. Take a breath in as you reach up. And now you're arcing over to the left. Keep the right glute on, keep the belly pressing in. Two breaths here. Next breath in, come up and place the hands down inside the foot. Again, inch the front foot forward if you'd like to. And then let your hips and your chest and your head drop. Release into this one. Relax your legs, your face, your arms. Okay, so now making your way out, walk the hands back. Lower the left knee next to the right. Just for a moment, we're going to move into what's called child's pose. So the toes are pointed back, bring the hips as far back as it's comfortable. If they don't go far back, then you just leave them where your knees and your ankles can handle it and drop onto your forearms. If they go far back, then you can actually rest your ribs on your thighs and let your head drop forward and just stay here. Two breaths. Make sure that this is okay for your lower back. And come forward onto your hands. Scoot onto your bum. We're gonna go right into a few minutes of relaxation. So make sure you're comfortable. Often when we have a lower back problem, something under the thighs really helps, so feel free to grab that, pause the video if you need to. And when you're ready, lie back. Make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes. And 
And you might be surprised how much stress and your mindset play a role in pain and discomfort that we feel. And so I want you to see right now if you can turn off everything that is causing tension in your body. So it's like you have a panel of switches in front of you. Each one has a label like needing to plan or needing to accomplish things, needing to think, to feel busy. needing to make money. Needing to do all those little things that we need to do in an average day. I want you to turn all of those switches off, all of the urges that you have. Turn it all off. And then start to turn off tension in your body, everywhere. Everywhere that you feel tension, just let it go. And then allow relaxation to spread throughout your body, everywhere. So all of the muscles completely let go and the bones feel really heavy and they sink into the floor. And this can feel really easy to do. Just believe it. Just believe that you can do this. Allow yourself to relax. Now bring your awareness to your lower back, to the area where you can feel pain. And now relax in the same way. Turn everything off, turn off all of the tension, all of the need for things to be better, the judgment, Everything associated with this part of your body, turn it all off. You don't need it. And now you can picture the vertebrae in your mind. And you can picture all of the tissue around the vertebrae, the muscles, the ligaments, connective tissue. And I want you to allow that tissue to soften so you feel the vertebrae shift apart, creating space between them. And then do that again. Relax. Allow the vertebrae to shift apart, creating space. And then do it again. Relax. Create space. Relax. Create space. Believe right now that your lower back can be healthy.
Okay, so we will be coming out of relaxation in a moment. You can start just by moving toes and fingers and arms and legs just to wake yourself up. And then when you're ready, you can bring the knees into the chest, give them a hug. Roll onto your side. And it's best to face the floor when you push your hand, the top hand into the ground to come up. And once you're seated, bring your palms together and feel the lift of the spine from tailbone up through the top of the head. The new space that you have in your lower back, the new flexibility in your joints, the new strength in your core, and how all of those things play a role in a healthy back long term. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.